So hello everybody. So I'm very pleased to be here today to present uh, this paper that we published together with Laurent Ladepeche and uh, Laurent Groc in collaboration with a team of clinicians in Lyon, where we show that uh, the surface dynamics of NMDA receptors play a uh, critical role during long-term potentiation and it could be affected in the neuropsychiatric disease. So as you know, long-term potentiation is a persistent increase in synaptic transmission which is usually associated with an, uh, an intense neuronal activity and it's supposed and it's considered as uh, the cellular substrate of learning and memory. And we knew that during this process there is an accumulation in dendritic spines of a particular protein, CAMCANase 2, which is a, a central actor of synaptic plasticity. And it's also paralleled with a, a quick change in the composition of NMDA receptors in synapses. But we didn't know what were the mechanisms uh, behind. And what we have discovered is that uh, this rearrangement occurs through an increased diffusion of an MDA receptors at the surface of neurons. And this increased surface diffusion enables the, the quick change in composition of uh, synaptic and MDA receptors from gluN2B containing receptors to gluN2A. And because gluN2B receptors directly interact with CAM kinase 2 in the cytoplasm, they act as cargos and their, uh, their increased diffusion enables CAM kinase 2 to be redistributed and to reach synapses where it initiates uh, morphological and functional adaptations. So what we also uh, discovered is that this process could be affected in a neuropsychiatric disease, which is anti-NMDA receptor encephalitis. So this disease is associated with neurological and psychiatric symptoms, and it's uh, characterized by the accumulation within the brain of antibodies directed against NMDA receptors. And what we have discovered is that those antibodies prevent the redistribution of CAM kinase 2 and NMDA receptors, and thereby actually they prevent LTP induction. And that's very interesting because it could uh, provide an explanation for the cognitive impairments that are uh, observed in patients who suffer from this disease. So again, I'm very happy to uh, introduce this paper to you. I hope you read it and enjoy it, and I thank you for your attention.